truly believe that uh, today we are at that jun juncture where uh, the digital technology is moving from being uh, entertainment uh, shared economy uh, technology to being really utilitarian. It is moving on from uh, voice uh, towards uh, data and this data is uh, really making our lives, our lives uh, uh, most important resource which is our time extremely uh, extremely efficient and, and at the same time extremely immersive. So in order to uh, towards doing that uh, all the, the device ecosystem that we see is becoming clearly virtual, is becoming clearly to an extent dumb and uh, the, the overall infrastructure that needs to get created uh, uh, for that is moving closer and closer to the edge. This infrastructure uh, which is moving closer to the edge, uh, it's not only about connectivity, it's about connectivity, it's about processing of data, it's about storage of data relevant to the ecosystem where it is hosted. And uh, as data has lots of gravity, you would want to process and store it as close uh, to the point of consumption and, uh, and usage. And that's where uh, uh, at uh, uh, Sterling Tech and STL we come in. We have, uh, uh, we have indigenized the overall uh, transport ecosystem, which is uh, the optical fiber ecosystem. We go on from uh, base silicon. Uh, go up to the overall fiber. We not only manufacture the fiber, we uh, plan the entire network and we lay the network uh, extremely efficiently, extremely high reliability and at the same time uh, uh, pretty uh, low cost in terms of the total cost of ownership. As the, uh, as the lifetime increases and operations and maintenance cost decrease, that's the clear focus. And we are taking that to the next level. We are designing uh, these uh, these open source edge micro data centers. These uh, centers would, as Matthew mentioned, it's uh, clearly it, it's uh, going to be indigenized. Uh, it's essentially going to be based on uh, programmable, open source, disaggregated, and software based technology. And that's the piece that we are uh, clearly building. So that there is a transport network which uh, which uh, transports data, and then there is a processing network at the edge uh, where consumption and processing and of data happens. Whether it is for uh, individual users, whether it is for uh, enterprises, or whether it is for home, and that's uh, that's going to be indigenous with Indian-owned uh, intellectual property and uh, all the value addition done in India. So we are truly making in India with the IPR owned in India and not only doing it for Indian consumption but exporting from the country as well.